During my winter break, my family and I went back to Taiwan to visit my grandparents and explore a little bit after not being able to go in a very long time, especially with COVID and everything. I just wanted to share my experience in Taiwan because I believe it's a very underrated travel destination with a lot of cute shops that, let's be honest, I spent way too much money on. And I just wanted to apologize in advance for some choppy footage or shaky camera angles because I got kicked out of several stores when trying to film in public and the addition of grandpas and grandmas judging me was kind of nerve-wracking. We arrived in Taiwan at around 6 a.m. and basically just took an Uber back to our grandparents' house where we could freshen up, uh, especially after 16 hours on the plane. This is where uh... After roaming around our neighborhood for a little bit, we made our way to S Light, which is basically like a mall filled with clothes, stationery, and books, and even a food court on the bottom floor. We had a late lunch and then continued to shop around the area, ending up in different department stores before calling it a day and then going back home. After finishing our breakfast and going on a quick coffee run, we took the underground subway to another shopping district, which was called Xingmen Ding, which is, from what I heard, a really popular shopping district among high school students and college students around the area.
for today's plan, I wanted to visit a couple different stationery stores. So we basically just got our daily coffee and then walked to several different places. Nothing and I'm crazy 
baby If you ever dare to ask 싸우고 뒤돌아서 아무것도 못하겠어서 다시 너에게 딩딩동 문을 열어줘 애플도 사과를 받아줘 바보 같아도 어쩔 수 없겠지 뭐 너가 다시 웃어준다면 You got me feeling like a psycho 벌써 보고 싶어 난또 전화 걸어 애교 부려 니코 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 집 뿌리고 피진 후엔 홍코 너에서 노래만 불러주기 너무 날 깨코 마지막 경고야 이제 또 그러면 되지 N으로 쓰인 건 절대 지워지지 않아 번지고 물들고 퍼지는 색깔은 빨강 상처는 퍼져 like 장미처럼 camouflage 마지막이야 this your last chance 오 이게 너의 마지막 경고야 이제 거의 마지막 시즌이야 난 정말 day in Taiwan we decided to meet some of our friends that we haven't seen in a really long time and just catch up on different things so we went to a mall and got some souffle pancakes and basically just talked for the whole time until around 6 p.m. because our flight was at around 9 p.m. so we had to go back home and pack from Taiwan were actually for my friends as souvenirs and Christmas presents and whatnot. 